we're no heroes. When given a choice, most sane people would not choose to be a hero. I'm sane except on days that end with why, and I don't choose to be a hero. I simply have a job to do. None of the Apex Infinite Meta Immortals are heroes either. Like me, they have a specific purpose which is to stop the Egregor from destroying the Georgieverse. Each of the Meta Immortals comes from a different realm in the Georgieverse. Although they are sentient beings, they aren't human. Each one has his own personality, strengths and weaknesses. Individually they're incredible warriors, but they're still learning to work as a team. If I can keep them focused on the task at hand, we're going to take down the Egregor. By the way, despite being the person who summoned the Meta Immortals, I'm not their leader. It would be more accurate to describe me as their tour guide because I do little more than tell them to watch their step when getting off the bus. Nevertheless, they listen to me most of the time. They listen for a few simple reasons. First, I know how to get to the Egregor. Secondly, I control the chakra ball that provides their weapons and determines when they can evolve to the next level. Thirdly, I implied that I will send them back to their previous situations if they give me any grief or let anything happen to me. Weapons and Chakras After the first Meta Immortal showed up at my place, it became apparent that, despite being mentally and physically superior, these super beings had lots to learn. Not only were they unfamiliar with this realm, but they weren't accustomed to their anthropomorphic bodies. That shit took some getting used too. For several of them, being bipedal and prehensile was a few rungs higher on the evolutionary ladder. But in other cases, the disadvantages were significant. For instance, the eagle doesn't have wings in this realm, so he can't fly like he is accustomed to. Let's just say he's more than a little pissed about that, so you can imagine the initial adjustment period was traumatic. I figured the only way to fix everything in a hurry was to go back to where it all began, that is, to the apex infinite realm. That's where I got the help I needed. First, I got the meta immortal battle suits. Then came the chakra ball. Did you ever get a present for Christmas that literally blew your mind? The kind of present that made you think that your parents weren't told chuckleheads after all. Well, it was the feeling I got when I received the metallic soccer-sized ball that was as light as a feather. I can't take credit for any of this gear. I just thought about what I needed and left the rest up to the apex infinite realm. If the suit fits. The battle suits are amazing, don't ask how they were made because I don't know. All I know is that the suits give each meta immortal whatever he needs to be a lean, mean fighting machine. It seems to help them integrate their innate abilities with the characteristics they need in this realm. The chakra ball is a little harder to explain because it seems to have multiple purposes. First, it has replaced the hyperbaric chamber as the way to communicate with the apex infinite realm. It's portable, so that means I can communicate from anywhere. The more important purpose of the chakra ball is to control the meta immortals. Although the suits give them incredible abilities, they can't access all their powers until they have demonstrated their willingness to adhere to certain principles of the team. So far I've identified seven levels of abilities. The first is the ability to control the weapons on their battle suits. Simple, yet important. But, hold on to your joystick because level 7 will blow you away. For now, let's just say it comes with a flaming head. 